So recently I did a video where I was talking about measuring my HRV and using a heart rate monitor. And some of you guys were asking which heart rate monitor I used. Um, I was gonna show you first the one that I use here at the gym and then I'll show you the other one I use at home later on because they're two different ones. The one I'm using right now, and again, I have no affiliation with this company. I'm using this one right now, it's called a Polar. This is the one that I use for the gym. Um, they've got a chest strap and I believe they have an armband strap that I'm gonna try out. But the chest, chest strap works pretty well. It's really simple, basically you, just like you can imagine, you put the sucker on. Obviously I would put it under my rash guard right here, but it just locks in right there, and then you start rolling whatever. And for the most part, it stays in place. Like it, it'll move around a little bit, but you can always tighten it up. Um, and again, even in the gi, I'll put the gi, the rash guard over top so I have something to cover it. And uh, it doesn't have too much, too much trouble. And it's pretty soft, so it's not like I'm driving this into someone's face and it's not too bad. I haven't had anybody complain about it, so it's not too bad. But what I wanted to show you too is uh, kind of what I'm looking for. So basically, I started doing this because I was coming back from an injury. I basically had a, it was some really weird stuff like my hip. I had a, uh, an issue where my physical therapist was basically telling me that the issue that I was having was the same issue that like women have sometimes when they wear tight yoga pants. Basically, I would like anything that would touch my hip would send jolts down my leg. It was basically a super uh, a superficial nerve. And um, it was really weird. Basically, it had happened because we'd been practicing mount for two months. And so I'm driving my hips into people. People are framing against it, that whole thing. Anyway, what I'm doing as I'm coming back, as I'm getting older, is trying to monitor what my workouts look like. So basically, when I'm done training, I can kind of take a look here and say, okay, like what was, what was going on? I'm not so much worried about the calorie count. I think it's probably a little bit overblown. What I'm really w focused on is seeing about the, uh, what the workout looks like. And I can kind of tell like right here, I was rolling with um, one of the lower belts. This was one of my, this was a brown belt. This was a black belt. I can literally see like based upon my heart rate, how hard I was rolling. And I can see this and what also this tells me sometimes too, is I can see how quickly it drops in between rounds, right? So we have a minute rest or whatever we have and I can see how fast it's dropping. And that lets me know like, okay, how am I doing? And so like when I was first coming back, my heart rate was like jumping a lot more and I was doing a lot less. And then now I'm pushing myself and it's hovering pretty relatively low. Like this morning when I was training, bring this up. Like this morning when I was training, I was pushing myself pretty well. We rolled for about 52 minutes. And um, again, I, I was hovering right in what would can be considered my green and orange and yellow range, which isn't too bad. And so again, what it does is it allows me to know like how my workouts are going, how hard I'm pushing myself. I can also see how fast I'm recovering and all that stuff's very useful to me. And I can also see when I'm putting in that work, am I getting to the point where I can push myself harder and my heart rate stays down lower? And that kind of just gives me a read on, oh, I'm getting there. And then also, I can also see sometimes where my heart rate was just staying a little too high and it just lets me know maybe I need to take a little rest the next day because my body's a little worn out because I've noticed that where if I have a couple hard, really tough training sessions for several days in a row, my heart rate when I, in the morning when I'm doing my HRV will be actually be a little bit elevated. And then when I get to the gym, my heart rate starts to rise a little bit faster than what I'm used to. And it just kind of lets me know, okay, now we need to back off the pedal. But again, that's what I'm using right here. Again, it was like 80 bucks off Amazon or something like that. And then again, it just kind of lets me have a read of how my workouts are going. Um, I'll try the, ch uh, the arm strap later on. And then I'll do another video where I show you guys my, the one that I actually use at home uh, for my HRV. So just an idea to share with you guys uh, as I'm messing around with it. Hope that helps.